As they say, diamonds are a girl's best friend, but I say diamond glaze is a crafter's best friend. I'm Judy from Judykins, and today I'm going to show you three of my favorite techniques that'll make your layout sparkle. <laughs> For my first technique, I'm going to use Judykin's Diamond Glaze. Now, the Diamond Glaze is a clear dimensional adhesive and it's wonderful for using as a glaze as well as a glue. On this card here, I have a stamped image that I've colored in with some dye-based inks and I'm going to use my Diamond Glaze by applying it with this thin little applicator nose just in specific areas so that you can see it's glazed and it's raised. Once I finish doing this, I have to wait about 20 to 30 minutes for the diamond glaze to completely dry. I have a finished card here so you can see how it looks once it's dried. You can see that it's glossy in the specific areas and it's also raised because the diamond glaze keeps its dimension while it's dry. Now, the next card that I'm going to show you is using the diamond glaze as an adhesive. I'm using a stamp from Judykins here to stamp my piece of paper and you see I've stamped with black ink. Then the way that I'm going to color it in is I'm going to use my dye based ink pads and I'm going to color directly on the paper and you can see that I've added some great color. You can add a little color on top of itself because the dye based inks are translucent. So I've applied the color directly to my paper here and you can see it's now been colored in. The next thing I want to do is add the beads. So I've got my diamond glaze. I'm going to squeeze out about a two inch diameter of diamond glaze right in the center of the card. Now in this case, I like to use my finger because it's really important how thick I apply the diamond glaze because I'm going to be adding some beads onto this card here. So with my finger, I could feel how thick the diamond glaze is applied. I've got a nice thin coating on here then I take my beads and I just sprinkle the glass beads over the whole surface of the card here. Now, I like to let the beads sit for just a couple of seconds because if I pull the card out too quickly, some of the diamond glaze is stuck to the beads and then you end up with clumps of beads in your container. So for the amount of time that I've been talking, which has just been a few seconds, is the right time. So you can see when I lift up my piece, all of the beads have stuck to my card. You can use your snappy tray to pour the beads back into the container. After I've returned my beads back to my container, I'm going to let this dry for about a half an hour. And you can see this is what my finished card looks like after I've attached it to the card. So let's move this out of the way and go on to our next technique. I'm starting out with some Judykins window plastic. This is a clear plastic that I'm using that comes with the tissue paper that separates the plastic. It keeps it from scratching and shipping. So I have some permanent ink here. This is a solvent based ink that dries on plastic. And I'm taking my stamp and I'm inking this up and I'm stamping directly on the plastic. You can see what a nice dark intense image turns out here. Next I'm going to pick up another stamp and stamp that in a couple of spots, maybe a couple times, and it's okay if it's a little faded because that gives the card a little more dimension. Again, a couple times, just off the edges. And finally, I have this cube stamp that has four images as a set, and it's perfect for snowflakes because you want to have different snowflakes because you know there's no two snowflakes that are alike. This is going to take a few minutes to dry, so while I'm waiting for it to dry, I've got another piece that I've already stamped, and that's this piece here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the back side of the plastic, and I'm going to apply my diamond glaze. You want to squeeze out about two inches of diamond glaze into the center of your card, but this time what I'm going to do is add some dye-based inks to tint the diamond glaze. With this ink, you don't want to add too much ink to the diamond glaze, so about 
a dime size diameter of diamond glaze with one drop of ink. And because I have the equivalent of about two or three dimes in here, I can use two to three drops of ink. So I have one drop of this blue color. This is a dye based ink and another drop of a little bit of a darker blue. And finally, this light purple. And you can see it's already starting to spread out. Now when I'm at home, I like to use my finger to spread this out, but here on the show, and for those of you who've just gotten a manicure and you don't want to ruin your manicure, a paintbrush is really handy. So I have my paintbrush and I'm just going to spread out the diamond glaze that's been tinted with the dye-based ink and you can see how pretty this looks. You want to make sure that you get the diamond glaze all the way out to the edges. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add my glitter. I have this Prisma glitter here, which is a clear glitter, and it actually sparkles very nicely, but it's a little transparent, so you can't see the actual color of the glitter behind the diamond glaze. Now I take the tissue paper that was separating the plastic, and you crumple up the tissue paper. I know this is kind of a weird step, but you crumple up the tissue paper, you open it back up, and you lay it back down on top of your wet diamond glaze that holds the diamond glaze in the pockets of the wrinkles of the tissue paper against the window plastic and that gives the plastic a lot of dimension and detail and let me show you one that's dry so this is my finished one that's been drying I'm going to trim off the edges and I'm going to attach it to a photo album that I'm going to show you next now, I finished my piece here. I wanted you to see. I've attached my panel onto the top of my book here. Now, this has been a work in progress, so I haven't quite finished it, but I wanted you to see how I've attached the card. I've attached the window plastic on this one side, and I've kept this piece open, so that creates the flap and the closure, and I've used some clear photo corners here so that this can close. But you can see the inside is a little accordion album, and I have places here where I still need to journal. I haven't quite finished this yet. These are my nephews, Andrew and Brian, and it was their first trip to the mountains. Now, over here, I have my diamond glaze that's glued the glass beads onto the card. I've also used the diamond glaze where I've painted it directly onto the plastic and I've added glitter on the back. This piece, I painted the diamond glaze into the window so that it looks like a stained glass piece. And finally, I've added the diamond glaze. I've painted it with a blue tint. I've added glitter, but I didn't back it onto a card so that it looks just like an open window. These are only a few of the techniques that I have for diamond glaze. There are so many more. Like I said, diamond glaze is a crafter's best friend. See you next time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to create this week's project, download the design guide featuring special make-it-your-own bonus tips.